<laughs> hello, goodbye, and hello again, and this is the Haunted PS1 Demo Disc for 2021. Um, it is a, uh, a compilation of demos for, um, uh, for PS1 style games, you know, mostly horror games. There's a couple that are obviously not horror games. Um, but, uh, with, with, like, PS1 graphics. Um, so low-poly graphics. Alright, let's start. And there's one game in particular that we're going to play today. Um, oh, okay. Okay. Well, this, this started me off already inside the building. Uh, I played this earlier just to test it out. And uh, uh, we were just outside of the building and then came in. Um, that's all you really missed. There was nothing interactive outside of the environment. And the guy is gone. Well, that's a shame. There was a skeleton guy. The, uh, the mascot of uh, the Haunted PS1 stuff. Uh, he was behind the counter before and he had something to say. Just wel basically welcoming you and telling you you can never leave. Um, I'll take you through a little tour of, of this building, but there's not much to do in here other than uh, play the games, obviously. But it's neat that they had this little, uh, you know, over overarching, I guess you could call it a game. Um, it's just atmospheric that way. All right, let's go to the game room. Oh, there's more floors to this than I thought there were. Um, ground floor, okay, first floor. Ah, okay, yeah, last time I played this I went to a different floor and I thought that was all there was, but apparently there's a lot of games. There's like 25 or something. Um, Tori is, is not really a horror game, uh, but over here, Ghastly Goodies, I thought would be a good one to do first since it's Halloween-y themed. It's Halloween, and that means candy. Play as Pete or Sarah and try to avoid the tricks as you gather some treats. Contains blood, but they, almost all of them say that. So here's the developer. All right, uh, how do I start? E? Oh, okay, I actually go through the door. I played um, the demo disc last year as well, last year's demo disc, but uh, I didn't end up doing it for the channel. I might go back to it at some point and play one of the games off of there. Launching game. Uh, switch windows if you can read this. Well, I can read that. Um, let me see if I can come down here. There we go. Guess 
Ghastly Ghouly Goodies demo. Let's play. Pete or Sarah? Let's go with Pete. We're late for the party! Yeah, check out these graphics. Get out! You can trick or treat from here. Don't do anything stupid, such as abandoning your child in, in the middle of nowhere. Free candy? Well, all right. What could possibly go wrong? Oh, tank controls. That's what could possibly go wrong. It's tank controls. Um, grabbing some candy. Oh, bats. I will examine that in a second. Uh, E-key, I assume? Yes. Even if it opened, it's boarded up. Try again. So no trick-or-treating there. Seems to be plenty of candy just laying around, though. What's over here? A set of suspiciously similar rocks. Interesting. <laughs> oh, you know, you gotta reuse some assets, right? A set of suspiciously similar rocks. Interesting. Okay. Same thing. So is this just an infinite loop, or... No, it's not. Okay. Landscaper's note. Ran out of budget after three rocks. Beware, not all of them are real. Okay. Oops. Right rock? No, nope, that one's not real either. Uh, must be this one. Yeah. Let's try the right rock this time. Aha! Which means probably the middle one. There we go. There's no jump button or anything. No, come on, get the candy. There we go. Groundskeeper's note: accidentally buried the bolt cutters instead of uh, in, uh, instead. Uh, no, hold on. Accidentally buried the bolt cutters instead who owned them. Alright, whatever you say. That looks like a little bit of a mistake, but uh, hope you didn't need them. There's a shovel. Maybe it's useful? Alright, I'll take it. Here lies Jeff, an extremely talented chef. 
Died from food poisoning. Uh, don't dig it up yet. I'm just gonna read all of these first. Here's lies Freddy, the bed salesman. Sweet dreams. Don't dig. Here lies Sebastian, the artist who really should have given up on their dream sooner. Here lies Timothy, the world's slowest mailman. Mine still hasn't arrived, by the way. You gotta get on. You, you, you gotta get on that. Here lies Robert, the world's second best uh, bike thief. Try harder for number one next time. Here lies Alice, the, the goodest girl we knew. We'll miss you so much. Here lies Dr. Doctorman Sr., the best door-to-door -door snake wrangler who ever wrangled snakes door-to-door. -door. I guess I could just start digging these up at random, but there was one or two I missed over here. Here lies Peggy, the craziest pigeon trainer on the west side. Bird noises. Well, obviously, we're going to dig up the pigeon one. Okay, nothing. Dig. 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 gotta be this one, right? Yeah. Because we were out of graves. Uh, a dirt-covered pair of bolt cutters. Maybe they're useful? Sure, take them. I guess I got rid of my shovel. But that's okay. little dragon guy. Oh, hello. What's your deal? I'm assuming I can't talk to you. Aha, uh -huh, just the just the stable ones are left. I always try to take the um, side roads and stuff first in games because uh, the most obvious route it, it often progresses the plot and, and I don't want to miss out on any possible secrets. Oh, I got gotten. Apparently I wasn't fast enough. So I guess that, that guy was the one that got me. Go, go, go. Yeah, I, I did not see him moving last time. Like, I, I was looking where I was going, not at what was following me. Go, 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 go! Okay, we 
people quickly switch over to use the... There we go. Go! Okay, he's not following me anymore. Requires 25 candy, I assume. Offer a delicious sacrifice to appease the Dark Lord and gain passage. Sure. The window to the basement is open. Surely there's more candy inside. What's the worst that could happen? That's what I was saying. Door candy. Hard to tell what this substance is under the glow of the yellow light. Looks like blood to me! Well, it looks a little pink, but, you know, could be blood. A door with no doorknob. Get a good luck using it like this. Yeah, I'm actually recording this a little early, but um, I'll release it in October. A locked door do doing what it does best, not opening until you unlock it. Hard to tell what the substance is under the glow of the purple light. Hard to tell what the substance is under the glow of the green light. What's this? Green button. Don't press it or press it. Ah, uh, let's press it. Yellow button. Um, let's do one at a time for now, I guess. Yeah. Uh, what's this? There's probably something behind this hatch on the shelf. Guess we'll never know what it is. A black button. No. Uh, okay, that didn't seem to have changed anything. Maybe the yellow button? Maybe I'll just press all the buttons. Purple button. What do we do now? Do I need to press these in a specific order or... Like this is a yellow light and then... Yellow, so yellow, purple, green, right? Yeah. Yellow button. Purple button. And then back to the entrance for the green button. Aha! 
It's a key. This key might unlock something, or maybe it doesn't. I'll take it. Back to that locked door. The door is locked. Use the key. Okay. I could follow the ghost, or I could... Now, let me grab this first. Yeah. I thought that was a hole, but it was just a reflection. Just water on the ground. Oh, no, you got me. And bit my head off. Gee. It's this doorknob. I'll take that. It's gonna get me. But I need more candy! Oops, uh-oh. Ah! Alright, I guess I got everything I needed out of there. I mean, I'm not gonna 100% this right now, I suppose. Um, we can just go ahead and progress with the game. I don't need every piece of candy. Almost walked off the edge there. Here we go. I didn't see this doorway. A door with no knob. Good luck using it like this. Did I did I not get to keep my I guess I didn't get to keep the doorknob. Okay, so I've gotta go get the knob and then exit without getting killed. Okay. Grab the knob. This door is missing its knob. Use knob. Thanks for playing a game demo by Cyrides. Additional programming. Okay. Cool. Well, that was neat. All right. Well, that was a pretty good uh, little demo there. I'd, I'd play more of that. You know, that was pretty cool. All right. Well, uh, happy spooky Ducktober, everybody, and, and look forward to the next video. All right, peace.